Okay, so here I am in Photoshop CC on my desktop, and I have sent this file straight over from Adobe Sketch. It is opened into my Photoshop CC as a PSD file with the layers intact over here on the right. And I'm going to change this to an animation, so I'm going to choose my video timeline. Now when I'm in Photoshop, I'm going to go to my window and make sure that my timeline is checked so that you get this button. And I'm going to create to the video timeline. As you see, my layers are all intact over here in the timeline as well. And I want to change this to a frame animation. So if I go way over here in this little tiny button over here in the bottom left hand corner and I see these little frames, I'm going to click on that and it that changed it to a frame animation. There's only one frame right now and I need multiple frames, one for each layer. So now over on the right hand side, I see these little tiny lines and I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna say, make frames from layers. So I'm gonna click on that and notice I now have five, I have four frames, one for each layer. I do not want any delay. So I'm gonna make sure that they're all set to zero seconds by selecting no delay, and I want this to loop forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect forever. And if I press the play button, as you can see, it is looping over and over again, just the way I want it. Now, it could be that you wanna do this process one for each letter. So I'm going over to the crop tool, and I am going to go ahead and crop it just to the S. And I press check mark, and I've only got the S looping. See, just my S here. And I can go ahead and just save my S. So I'm gonna do File, and I am going to do Export, and I will select Save for Web Legacy. I click that, and I've got this. You do want a file size that's small because you want it lightweight so it doesn't um, stop or skip. I would say anything under say around 800 by 600 would be about a good size. I can preview my looping letter which is cool and I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go ahead and save this and maybe I'm going to call this the S letter and save it wherever you want to save it and there I've got my file. I can upload this into my PowerPoint, my Keynote, my Google Slide presentation. You could stick it into a document. You can put it on your web page, or you can reuse this anytime you want. And if I want to go ahead and do more letters, I just undid my crop, and then I would recrop it for my next letter and repeat the process. And that is how you do it. The possibilities are endless in what you want to do with Adobe Sketch and to send it into Adobe Photoshop CC. So enjoy and have fun.